Hello, viewers. I'm joined today with Sean Calhoun, a lacrosse player here at Northtown Area High School. How you doing, Sean? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. So I heard, I heard you just hit a milestone in your lacrosse career. Can you tell us what happened? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, on Monday, I scored two goals to complete my uh, 100th goal of my career in high school. All right. Wow. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Uh, do you know what the uh, record was for the most goals here at Narstown? Um, actually, I broke that last year, and it was around 70 or 80-something. Right. And then just continuing on with that, I'm just continuing the record this year. Right, yeah. You set, it, set the bar high for, yeah. you know, the underclassmen. Uh, do you know who hit that um, 82 or something you said? Yeah, it was uh, Shane Franzone. He actually went here a couple of years ago. Uh, do you know him personally? Do you have any relations? Yeah, we were, uh, we were good friends. We grew up playing together in the youth league, and then right. he's a really close friend of mine. Right. So what are some struggles you, you came across to getting 100 goals? Well, we're not the greatest team to start off with, and it's like a lack of commitment when people don't show up. It mm -hmm. like, gets depressing to even want to play. Right. And people argue, but whenever we like get together as a team and start playing good, then it feels good, and right. you can just start scoring goals. Right. So, what do you do during the off season of lacrosse? Do you know. Well, for me, my goal was to go to college to play lacrosse, and to do that, you need to get looks by college coaches. So I went to uh, I played for a travel team mm -hmm. this summer, and I've been to. Numerous camps like Villanova camp, LaSalle right. camp, and it just gets you better and gets you noticed by other people. Right, sounds like a good experience. What, what did you uh, experience there at those camps? Well, for my travel team, the coaches actually, in comparison to like professional football, would be like the Peyton Manning and mm -hmm. Ray Lewis of lacrosse. So it's right. like you get top-notch looks at what to do and what not to do in lacrosse. So I feel like it's like the best learning experience you can have is just going out during the summer, having fun, and just playing with the best guys out there. Right. So is lacrosse like AAU of basketball in the summer? Like travel teams, or yeah. It's um, you try out for your team, like in your area. That you don't mm -hmm. have to go on a certain team, but there's various that you can choose from. You try out for whoever you want, and if they choose you, you go and play in different tournaments over the right. summer. So is there a national championship maybe for? Um, no, not necessarily because it's just all, like a lot of them are um, local local okay. tournaments that are started by pros or something to raise money for a foundation. Right. So how has the Norristown lacrosse team changed over the last four years you've been playing varsity? Um, it's, it's had its ups and downs. Like when, when I first started, I was a freshman obviously, and we had a lot of uh, experienced upperclassmen that I could play with and it was easy to like flow into things because they helped me out but as I got older and some kids fell off like didn't want to play or we lost seniors it just mm -hmm. it gets a little discouraging. Right. Now I understand your dad is a coach. Well, how do you feel about your dad being the coach? Um, my dad being the coach it also has its ups and downs. I mean, I know like when everything's happening, I know who we're going to play, when, what to wear mm -hmm. and all that stuff, but it also brings the game and the practices off the field into my own house. So right. if we're having a bad game, then the rest of the kids can go home, but where I have to talk to them afterwards and we get into arguments sometimes and right. it's just, it's a little stressful. Um, I don't know about if your dad was the uh, coach for your whole four years, was he? He was, um, actually he started up the uh, youth program, like okay. I said, the Norristown Pal League. And he coached me in there as well. But then as my brothers came to the high school, he mm -hmm. decided he wanted to try to have a team here so we compete as a varsity team. And he took over as the coach here, and I just came in to him playing. Right. Is your brother a coach also? Um, yeah, my middle brother, Eric, he's the uh, assistant varsity coach and also JV coach here. Right. Did he play lacrosse maybe? He played, uh, he played since he was in maybe third to fifth grade, all the way up through his high school career. Right, so did he teach you anything, you know, how well, to create on stuff? Well, yeah, that's that's what got me going. Right. My two older brothers inf influenced me to play and we would always have catches in the backyard and stuff. Right, so how did your teammates influence your game? Well, my, my teammates, they know, they know what potential I have in me. So they really like look up to me as a captain and as a player, so mm -hmm. They push me forward to keep scoring goals and like doing good because then that makes them in turn play better. If they can see someone 
who can actually compete against these other good teams. So they helped me a lot. Right. So what part does your your uh, dad play and your brother play? In this? Um, they're they're more of a uh, support system. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know they coach me and they tell me what I have to do on the field, but. I've been playing so long that I like I kind of know like what to do the ins and outs. So they mm -hmm. they help me like stay confident, even though right. we may lose by a lot. They just help me like stay calm and keep doing what I'm doing. Right. Uh, when is your next game? Next game is this Friday at Wissahickon. At Wissahickon. Yeah. Right. Are you playing lacrosse in college? I am. I'm going to uh, Chestnut Hill College next year. And I'm going to play for them. Right. Was that uh, your best offer? Well, I had a bunch of college coaches looking at me. So since I had an opportunity to go multiple places, I just narrowed it down to my own decision. I wanted to go close. I wanted it to be like a small school. Right. And when I went to visit Chestnut Hill, I knew the coach already. Mm -hmm. He's coached me before. Right. And I just it felt like home. Like I just right. decided that was the best yeah. place. I heard you say you made your own decision. So no one, you know, your parents were anything helped you out? No, they, um, they helped me to just understand all about college and my two older brothers have went through it, so I kind of know. But they, it was totally up to me. They, they didn't like push me towards any college or anything. It was mm -hmm. all my decision. Right, is, now what division is Chestnut Hill? They're a division two. Division two, okay. Well, do you have anything else to add? Um, I just hope our team as a whole can like come together and maybe get a few more wins, but it was a positive win yesterday, and um, just hope for the best. Right. Well, congratulations, Sean, on right. the two milestones you reached. Right, thank you. I'm BJ Gordon, and back to the Eagles Eye.